Hey name tags, this is Ash from Heal My PC. Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and repair a dead TV based on these specific symptoms for any TV. Warning, this type of repair does come with risk of electrocution and damage to your device or other related electronics. Therefore, consult a professional if in doubt or do at your own risk. This is the 40 inch Sony Bravia model KDL-40V4000. There is no power when turned on, no LED lights whatsoever, no backlight, no nothing. Tools you will need are an electrical screwdriver and an auto-ranging digital multimeter. Optional tools are a pair of long nose pliers and some masking tape. The first thing to do is to remove the back cover by unscrewing every screw you can see. On your particular model there may be some screws that you could leave in, but if you're not familiar with removing TV back covers, I would suggest unscrewing everything. If in doubt, try to locate the manual for your TV and work from there. Most of the screws would be the same size, apart from a few. You may want to identify them by either marking with a marker, or in my case I'm simply using a masking tape to mark which screws are not the same size as the majority. You can even tape them down next to their respective locations. When all the screws are removed, gently lift to remove the back cover. If you feel resistance, then there are possibly one or more screws that you may have left. Check again to remove them. Finally, gently lift the back cover and put aside in a safe place. You can see two main circuit boards. The brownish based one on the left is the power supply board and the greenish based one to the right is the main board. Since the TV has no power, we will be checking for voltage coming into the power supply first. We need to check the mains lead cable. Make sure your TV is plugged in and turned on from the mains and any main switch on your TV is also turned on. Set your multimeter to AC, alternating current and insert the black and red probes into the two pin plugs. Orientation doesn't really matter here. If you have a 3 pin plug, make sure you're not inserting the probe into the earth socket. Check the reading. Here we're getting around 232 volts as AC. That means the mains plugged is working fine. Insert the mains lead back into the mains TV socket. Next, we need to check if the same voltage is coming into the power pins on the power supply board. Leave the multimeter on AC and check for AC voltage on the power plug connected onto the board. We get around 227 volts, that could be within the margin of error. Now we've established that AC voltage is coming into the power supply board, we can test DC direct current. Check the voltage output to the main board. This one reads 3.3 volt as DC. Some TVs has it as 5 volts, it should say so on the board itself. Set your multimeter to DC, ground the negative black probe on the chassis or somewhere metallic but not on any electrical component. Check for the DC with the red positive probe. As you can see, I'm not getting 3.3 volts, most probably this power supply bolt is faulty. Time to order a replacement. Switch off all power and unplug the mains lead. Unplug anything you can see connecting the power supply board. Here we have five cables. Unscrew the six screws holding the power supply board. Gently lift the board and locate the reference part number. Here it's 1-876-467-11. I got a replacement board from ebit.net, link below. Swap the standoffs from the older board onto the replacement one. You may want to secure the board with at least one screw at this stage. Plug back all the five cables to the board. We need to redo the AC test before. Plug the main lid back in and make sure both the mains and the TV main switch is on. Set the multimeter on AC and check for AC voltage on the power plug connected onto the board. Still reading at 237 volts AC. Next we will retest the voltage output to the main board. Set your multimeter to DC, ground the negative black probe on the chassis or somewhere metallic but not on any electronic component. Check for DC with the red positive probe. This time we are getting around 3.3 volt DC. This is good news. Time to check if this repair did the trick. We can finally see a green LED light which is promising. Time to hook it up to a DVD player to test. Please note that for this type of repair, i.e. no power and no LED lights, until you actually replace the faulty power supply, there is no telling what else could be wrong with the TV. Once you repair the power supply, then you can investigate further depending on the numerous other symptoms that may appear. So there you go, we have movement. This fix was relatively simple if you know what to look for. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching and for your continued support. I have again simplified the channel name to heal my PC only. Remember to do your thing down below and subscribe if you haven't done so yet for more helpful vids to come. Until next time, peace out.